there was a last minute rule change because of the deep snow around flat and it's going to be very frustrating for Aaron. He came through McGrath, changed sleds to the sled he had flown out specifically for that deep snow. And, you know, and then he's in O for now. So I'm sure he knows now that, that that strategy that he put in place way in advance is for not. Um, so that's, that's got to be a frustration for him. It's got to be a relief to a lot of the mushers that they're not going around that little circle through the deep snow. Um, so the trail has been changed. Diderod and back. I said in an earlier video that I didn't expect Ofer to be a real popular place to 24. That is, um, that's just a gut feeling. Logically, they should be very evenly divided by the three. Um, I'm going to say, you know, at that point, I still hadn't been able to find where the 24s were going to be, and I had no idea that the 8 was going to be allowed before the 24, which is a very different strategy thing um, that Aaron has used. I don't know whether he's planning on 24ing in Ofer or going on to a dead rod because he took his 8. Um, back in Nikolai, I, you know, expect him to, to be planning on going on to Editorado, but I don't know. There's a little pack that have made it um, into O for now. So, you know, at that same time, I was like, well, you know, it might be, might be somebody that, that, you know, 24s in Roan, you know, that, that situation that, that I saw, um, you know, somebody did take that long break, but they had the option of the eight hour and that was Brenda Mackey. And I don't know what problems she's having, but she's down to nine dogs and doing that long break in Roan, um, has allowed her to keep going. I hope she finishes. She's definitely not running for rookie of the year this year. Um, and then... Again, I hope the mushers had a lot more information than I have. So Nikolai, you know, was a much different checkpoint than I had envisioned by by what had been put out that it was going to be away from town. It was right there by town. It was right by, you know, everything. And uh, you know, so it was it wasn't going and staying in people's houses. It was camping there, but it was camping in the trees, not you know, not out in the wind. So Nikolai, from a musher point of view, was a much friendlier place to camp than I had envisioned by the original description. Rainy Pass had, you know, the charging station, so the mushers will know that on the way back that they have that charging station if they didn't know that, you know, before they, they left the road system. So that will factor in. Charging stations are really important in a, a year where there's, you know, no moon and it's dark for, you know, just over 12 hours a day, you know, because it's just before equinox. So, yeah, so it's, it's, that's a factor. Um, really sorry for Allie that, that she's had this, this concoction and dislocated shoulder. Um, and, uh, Hopefully, she will come back from that, and that will be a frustration and a sorrow, but not a long-term um, inability to go on to whatever whatever she was going to do next, be that, you know, ultra marathons or Ironman competitions or whatever. Um, you know, hopefully she'll be able to to get her her quality of life back to that you know super athletic level so anyway i will get back on here again tomorrow